en coutant. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. I hand over the floor to the La parole legal lawyer to put questions question to the witness. Ils pourront Reverend interroger you may not le proceed. témoin, le vénérable M. Peng. Je vous en prie. L'avocat pour la partie civile. Good Reverend I'm Merci, Mr. President, Your Honours. Mesdames, Messieurs les juges, je vous salue. My name is Wayne Peu. I am the civil party Van lawyer. Peu. Je suis un des avocats des I have a few questions, and after my questioning, my après quoi. Uh, the uh, lead call lawyer, uh, Mary, will uh, put further Marie, questions. La co pour les the question I'm going to put to you concerns the Mes statement you gave to the co-investigating judge's office. Verbo the document number is A3-5133. Mr. President, uh, I would like to quote the statement from this document. De ce document. Here, and in Khmer is 0016 5260. English, here, 0022 3199. French, here, 0070 2334. The question relates to the period La before 17 April 1975, and the question is that how many members were there in uh, Sampermir Pagoda, and you said that uh, you did not know the exact numbers of monks there, but uh, you know that there were many monks. Because Uh, some monks were Vous from uh, the province effet, and they also stay in that pagoda. Did anyone tell you that some monks were from uh, the province and stay with you in the same pagoda? Answered. Some monks uh, from were from province, Il y avait des and they des provinces. were from Guinea. There were there was ex oppression against monks, so they moved Les to live in that pagoda at that time. Ils se sont rendus dans cette pagode pour y séjourner. Question. Thank you. Uh, could you clarify? You said there was oppression at that time, and who oppressed the monk at that qui time? Opprimait les moines. Answer. Réponse. During that time, the country was not yet liberated. À and uh, le pays pas encore libéré. liberation Uh, and, and during that time, a monk escaped to live in Phnom Penh to stay away from the American bombing. Pour, uh, so they moved to live American. in uh, the pagoda in Phnom Penh. Se sont donc dans des à Phnom Question. Penh. You mean Question. that some monks uh, uh, escaped to Vous Phnom Penh uh, to stay in the pagoda? They moved because uh, there was American bombing. Is that true? À cause des bombardements américains, n'est-ce pas? Answer. Réponse. There was no answer from the the witness. Answer. Uh, yes, uh, because of the war, the monks moved to live in the, the, in Phnom Penh. Les moines sont allés s'installer à Phnom Penh. Lawyer, thank you. Uh, my next question is that I want to clarify uh, from you when you saw some monks escape uh, to live in pagodas in Phnom Penh. Qui avaient pris la fuite pour s'installer dans des pagodes à Phnom Penh. Did you witness yourself 
that uh, some monks uh, got injured, got injury because of uh, fighting at that time. Or did anyone tell you about this? À cause des combats, ou bien vous l'attendiez? Answer. As for gen, uh, injuries on monks, I uh, did not know. Je ne sais pas si des moines étaient blessés. Question. Thank Question. you very much. Uh, I uh, would like to know about the evacuation on the 17 April 1975. Uh, this morning, you already mentioned that on. Ce matin. In the night of the 17 April 1975, at 10 p.m., Khmer Rouge came to threaten monks to leave Pagoda. My question is following. During that night, did you witness by yourself, or was anyone told you that the monks in that Pagoda were deprived immediately? Qui vous a dit night. que cette nuit-là, des moines avaient été Answer. défroqués sur le champ? On the 17 April 1975, I did not know about whether monks were defrocked si on that day because défroqués. we were all afraid. We were all Nous terrified. Peur, we did not know terrorisés. whether we could live in peace after Nous their arrival, so we did si not know. At 10 o'clock after that. And after that, at 10 o'clock, uh, we were told to leave the city for seven days, so we could only bring uh, an umbrella and uh, our clothing, so we were told as such. So at 10 p.m., we were ordered to leave. Lawyer, thank you, question. Reverend. My next question concerned your statement this morning. You said that after one month vous avez dit ce matin of the evacuation, you arrived at Angroka Pagoda in Tramka district. À la pagode dans le district de During the period of uh, more than one month while you were traveling, Donc, did anyone tell you or were you told that a monks uh, were defrocked and did not have enough food or along the way? Or were they told you that monks got injuries? Answer, I did not know about this, because uh, we Réponse. were on our own. Nous I nous had students uh, going with me, and uh, other monks, they had their own students uh, with them, so we were all outraged. Lawyer, thank you, Reverend. I need a clarification from you as well. This morning you said on 17 April 1975, Khmer Rouge uh, uh, kept uh, 20 monks, and uh, you mentioned one name, that is Hu Tat. Did you recall that uh, what, did you recall the position of Hu Tat at that time? He he was the patriarch. He, he was uh, referred to as uh, Patriarch uh, Hu Tat. C'était le patriarche Hu Tat, comme on l'appelait. Lawyer, thank you, Reverend. I Question. have uh, a few more questions in relation to uh, Encore quelques questions work sites, sur les chantiers de Tramcac, en particulier la pagode d'Angroca. And you have nous en avez déjà abondamment parlé, vous avez aussi well, répondu aux questions de l'accusation, mais j'aimerais obtenir plus de précisions. No vous dites qu'à compter de début 1976, il n'y avait plus de moines. Qu'entendez-vous par là no monks at all Il n'y avait plus du tout de moines dans le pays, début 1976 ou bien, est-ce qu'il y en avait à l'époque à Angroca Réponse. Je crois savoir qu'il n'y avait plus de moines à cet endroit-là. En tout cas, je n'en ai pas vu. Question. In relation to another matter from 1975 to 1976, you said 
that uh, there were no vous avez dit qu'il n'y avait plus de moines là où vous étiez en 75 My et 76. Is, quand des gens mouraient, est-ce que les villageois to, pouvaient convier uh, des moines pour uh, des rituels bouddhistes Answer. Réponse. Before 1976, uh, Avant yes, 1976, a monk can oui. could attend a uh, Buddhist ritual for uh, the funeral. des cérémonies bouddhistes à l'occasion uh, des funérailles. Lay, pe lay people, they uh, did by their own, meaning that uh, they held the uh, ritual les and they laïcs. buried the bodies. Uh, and before 1976, as I told you, I, uh, I could go to attend the ritual dit, and uh, the clergy were with me. Pu au Question. Et le clergé and avec at that time, did uh, the uh, leader Question. of the region allow uh, rituals to be held in your area? Answer. Réponse. No, they did no. not allow us to hold any ritual. Nous n'avons pas pu tenir de cérémonie. Question and this is my question. last question. It is about uh, question. the time that you were in Angroka Pagoda and uh, you were with monks of the Pagoda of Angroka in company de moi from de province de Takeo. The fall of uh, Khmer Rouge. Did you ever meet à uh, moment de la chute des Khmer Rouges Avez-vous rencontré à nouveau pagoda? des moines Did que vous aviez côtoyés à la pagode d'Angroka Autrement dit, est-ce que certains moines ont survécu Answer. I, uh, Réponse. Have never seen them Je ne les ai plus jamais revus. J'ai interrogé des gens any monks who used to live with me. et je n'ai plus revu de moines que j'avais côtoyés. Thank you, uh, Reverence. Uh, that concludes my questioning. Merci, Thank you, Mr. Vénérable. J'en ai terminé. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Vénérable you, M. Feng. Je m'appelle Marie Guiraud uh, et je suis avocate du collectif des parties civiles. Uh, uh, et j'ai quelques courtes questions à vous poser cet après-midi. Ma première question, My first, uh, question, je voulais savoir comment vous avez vécu le fait de ne plus pouvoir pratiquer votre religion no pendant le régime du Kampuchea démocratique. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer ce que vous avez ressenti uh, par rapport au fait de ne plus pouvoir pratiquer uh, le bouddhisme pendant cette période for you, uh, to Good boy. Answer. I felt the same as others. J'ai ressenti la même chose felt. que les autres. Because uh, at that time uh, we were under their instruction. À l'époque. And we only uh, did uh, we did what we could in order to survive. Nous reçues. Nous faisions tout ce que nous pouvions pour pouvoir survivre. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Vous avez indiqué ce matin, en réponse à une question de notre confrère du bureau du procureur, que vous continuiez de prier en secret. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez déclaré Is my statement. Effectivement, c'est ce que j'ai dit. Uh, conduct the preaching in secret Nous at night time. en secret la nuit. Pouvez-vous nous donner un petit Can peu plus d'informations et d'explications sur ces prêches pendant la nuit and about, uh, Qui assistaient À quelle fréquence Comment cela se passait-il Est-ce que vous pouvez sessions? être un petit peu plus précis How were things organized Can you be a little bit more specific about that One poor answer. Actually, we reminded about our uh, Buddha teachings 
after we nous nous went to sleep. So we uh, keep praying in secret so before we went to bed. Secret avant d'aller dormir. Je vous remercie. Thank you. Je voulais savoir, Vénérable, si vous aviez été marié pendant la période du Kampuchea démocratique, entre 1976 pour être précis, et 1979. Non. 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 I uh, was alone. I uh, never. Je uh, vivais seul. I have never got gotten married. Je ne me suis jamais marié. Je vous remercie. Thank Je vais you. vous citer un passage de l'entretien que vous avez donné uh, en janvier 2005. The... À Dissicam, et je vais citer un passage qui est en page 5 de la version française, IRN en français 0065566661, IRN en anglais 0035010101, IRN en Khmer 00088474. Cette question que je viens de vous poser, elle vous a été posée en 2005 par euh, la personne qui vous a entendu pour Dissicam, et je voudrais vous lire le passage qui nous concerne aujourd'hui. Question. Sous le régime Khmer Rouge, après que vous avez abandonné votre état monastique, les Khmer Rouges vous ont-ils forcé à vous marier Réponse, oui, mais je m'y suis opposé. Question, est-ce que votre refus a énervé les Khmer Rouges Réponse, eh bien, je vais vous raconter mon histoire. Elle était particulière. D'une part, les habitants, les anciens du village qui me connaissaient depuis mon enfance, disaient souvent aux Khmer Rouges de ne pas me faire du mal, qu'ils me connaissaient depuis que j'étais tout petit. D'autre part, comme il s'agit d'une histoire taboue et d'une question de foi, quand on m'a forcé à me marier, j'ai répondu « Je n'ai pas besoin de femmes, camarades, puisque j'ai du riz tout fait, des soignants à ma disposition. Si jamais je tombe malade, j'irai spontanément à l'hôpital. » Il n'y a, a rien à se compliquer la vie. Je n'ai pas le temps de la nourrir parce que je dois travailler chaque jour. On a alors arrêté de me chercher des histoires et a dit que j'avais raison. Est-ce que vous vous souvenez de cet épisode, monsieur le témoin Yes, I, this is my statement. This is what I said. And uh, I uh, did not agree to have a wife. Je n'étais pas d'accord pour me marier. Je ne voulais pas de femme. Pouvez-vous nous dire qui vous avez demandé de vous marier? Can you please tell us who asked you to marry? Bobotan Pum. Answer the uh, commune chief. Le chef de la commune. The uh, village chief, rather. Pourquoi? Ou plutôt le chef du village. Did the person le fait, explain village. to you why you should get married? Je vais peut-être répéter ma question du coup. Vous a-t-on expliqué Will le chef du village? Vous a-t-il expliqué pourquoi vous deviez vous marier? You should get married. Answer. They said nothing. You, they said that uh, you were rather old, uh, so you should uh, get married. And I said, no, 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 I uh, did not uh, need a wife because Anka uh, is... Anka was a magic, and the food was magic. Everything was magic. And after that, uh, they... Uh, kept silent and uh, I did not uh, get married. C'était parfait, je ne voulais donc pas me marier.
Comment s'est passée cette, euh, cette proposition Est-ce qu'elle était insistante Ou est-ce qu'à partir du moment où vous avez euh, indiqué ne pas vouloir vous marier, on a, comme vous le dites dans votre euh, audition, arrêté de vous chercher des histoires ils ont gardé le silence et ils m'ont plutôt ignoré. Je vous remercie. Est-ce qu'à l'époque, vous connaissiez d'autres moines Did comme you know vous qui ont été défroqués such as et qui ont été mariés who were defrocked and then who went on to marry. L'un et pourquoi, selon vous, lui a respecté l'ordre de se marier Et pourquoi vous, vous avez pu refuser Vous indiquez dans votre témoignage que je vous ai lu un petit peu plus tôt que votre histoire était particulière. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous expliquer en quoi votre histoire était particulière, comme vous le dites Mon parcours est un peu étrange par rapport à celui d'autre. Même si je refusais de me marier, je n'ai pas eu de problème. D'autres se sont mariés par groupe de 10 ou 20 ans. Et pour moi, c'est une histoire étrange, parce que je n'étais pas parent en quelque sorte. Je n'ai pas été maltraité. Je n'ai eu aucun problème, et ce, en dépit du fait que je m'étais opposé à un ordre que j'avais reçu. Quand on lit votre témoignage que vous avez donné à Dissicam, vous indiquez que les anciens du village vous connaissaient depuis votre enfance. Est-ce que vous pensez que le fait que vous connaissiez les anciens du village a pu impacter sur le fait que vous ayez pu refuser le mariage Je Into military service, so I was a monk uh, since uh, I was a child. Je vous remercie. Vous Thank venez d'indiquer lors d'une précédente stated, réponse uh, euh, des mariages de groupe de 10 ou 20 personnes. Je voulais savoir uh, si vous aviez personnellement assisté à certaines de ces cérémonies. Answer yes, I attended the marriage ceremonies and I was asked to to preach during that ceremony and the clergyman were with me preaching. Le clergé était à mes côtés. Tout le monde prêchait. Alors, est-ce que vous pouvez nous situer ces mariages avec ces prêches Puisque vous nous avez indiqué tout à l'heure qu'après 1976, il n'y avait plus de prêches. Est-ce que vous situez ces mariages avant 1976 ou après 1976 
จนนเปิดบอก During Pol Pot time, a couple were asked to make a resolution. In 1970, it was in 1977 and 78. There were no monks, and they knew that uh, I uh, was once a monk, so I was asked to help in the Buddhist uh, ceremony, particularly in the uh, ceremony that the uh, couple were asked to make a resolution. Donc pour être précise, en 77 et 78, alors même que vous aviez été défroqué, on vous demandait, et je vous, dis, je vous demanderai du qui, de, du coup, qui est ce on, on vous demandait quand même euh, de prêcher lors de cérémonies de mariage. Est-ce que j'ai bien compris Answer yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Answer, because uh, Catherine uh, knew me and me I was invited to uh, preach. J'ai été invité à prêcher. Pouvez-vous nous dire très rapidement, et ce sera ma dernière question, quand se déroulaient ces mariages Est-ce que c'était plutôt la journée, le soir Est-ce que c'était variable Et en général, quel était le nombre de couples euh, qui se mariaient et qui présidait la cérémonie de mariage Et lastly, qui présidait over the wedding ceremonies Answer. In my village, there was a one ceremony only at a time. It was at night time where people were asked to make resolution. During that time, that time there were about uh, 30 couples. After dinner, the uh, ceremony was held. Uh, people, the couples uh, were asked uh, to make resolution at that night. Je vous remercie. Vous vous souvenez-vous qui présidait la cérémonie de mariage Who presided over the marriage ceremonies Je vous remercie, Monsieur le témoin, d'avoir répondu Thank à mes you, questions. J'en ai terminé, Monsieur le Président. Answered my questions. Mr. President, uh, that concludes my line of questioning. President, thank you. Now I give the floor to the defense counsel for the accused. It's uh, the counsel for Nguyen Chia starts first. And, uh, court officer, you are instructed to adjust the microphones uh, to the left so that it can uh, get the voice. Now, the, the, the counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chia, it is time for your line of questioning. Counsel, my respect to reverence, I am Phuong, uh, your honors. I, my name is Sun Visa. I am the defense counsel for Mr. Nguyen Chi. I have a few questions for you. My first question relates the uh, Buddhist uh, or religious practice. You have just said that during the ceremony, during the wedding ceremony, the village chief uh, asked you to preach in that ceremony. What about other ceremonies such as uh, funerals? Uh, were you also invited to preach? Answer, no, I was not invited in other occasions or ceremonies. The wedding ceremony was only the only one uh, uh, op, op, opportunity that I was invited to be there and preach. Council, thank you, Reverence. Before you 
responded this. Uh, you mentioned that during the funer funeral, the Vous village chief uh, was invited you to be there the and village, act as a clergyman. And where was the ceremony held? Answer. It was held in my village in Pol Pot time. Réponse. There were bodies, and uh, I was asked uh, to be there and help, and to des, be des both a monk and a clergyman. And after the ceremony, the body was buried or were uh, cremated. Les corps pouvaient être enterrés ou incinérés. Ceremony on the day, uh, were you uh, practice uh, uh, did you practice according to the uh, Buddhist uh, rituals? Avez-vous pu pratiquer selon le rite bouddhiste? President. Le président interrompt. Uh, Reverend, uh, please hold on. Uh, Council, you are instructed to uh, wait for a few minutes because uh, there is a technical matter in relation to transcripts.
President, due to uh, some technical matters, nous rencontrons quelques problèmes d'ordre technique. In particular, there is a problem with the uh, transcription uh, problem. The chamber will take a 15-minute break. Il y a un problème de transcription. And we will resume at 10 past 2. Nous reprendrons à 14 And is it working now? It seems that uh, the matter has been solved. So uh, let me uh, continue. And counsel, you may proceed. Defense counsel. Uh, Venerable, I ask you the last question. If you can recall, please uh, respond. President, counsel, please. Uh, Rephrase or repeat your question. Maître, votre question, vous plaît? Question. La when you worked as a chair during that ceremony, Lorsque did you follow the Buddhist practice or, of a ritual or ceremony? Le rite bouddhiste? Answer. Réponse. Yes, uh, we followed the Buddhist uh, ritual. Oui, nous avons pu suivre, uh, there the was a uh, process of taking the uh, dead body uh, for the cremation Nous or sometimes uh, for burial. Uh, it was a typical uh, religious uh, ceremony. Question, did you also uh, pray or provide a uh, sermon? Pu President interrupts. Uh, please, uh, witness, wait for the microphone's Monsieur activation témoin, before you respond. Que votre micro soit pour Answer. Réponse. I was allowed to, to provide a sermon in my village. Pu dans mon village. Thank you, says the council. Did La you... Défense, did you practice that until the liberation of the country in 1979, or when did you stop doing so? Avez-vous pu pratiquer jusqu'à la libération 1979? Answer. Ou there was, there were no such a a a ceremonies held uh, by 1978. Il n'y a plus de cérémonie jusqu'en 1978. Question. At one point, you stated that uh, when a village chief uh, asked you to get uh, married because uh, que le chef du you were told that you were forced, can you tell us how were you forced uh, to get married? To get married? Or whether there were any members of your family uh, threatened? Ou si l'un des membres de votre famille a été menacé. Answer. I did not say uh, I was forced. As for the villagers, uh, they were forced to get married because uh, they did not know them. So they just uh, picked this woman or that man to uh, be coupled, although they did not know each other, and that's what we call force, but not in my case. Because I refuse to get married. Question. When you were asked to get married and you refused to do so, what happened to you? Were you mistreated or they threatened to arrest you? Answer, no. There was uh, no such thing until uh, the, uh, the fall of the uh, regime. Thank you. And Mr. Counsel, I don't have any further questions for this witness. President, thank you. And uh, Councillor Coupe, you have the floor now. Um, thank you, Mr. President, Your Honours. Um, uh, Venerable, I have a, a few additional questions uh, to ask to you. Um, 
Could you elaborate a little bit more on your preaching during the marriages? Um, what exactly did you say, what did you do uh, as uh, when you were attending these, these ceremonies? Answer. President interrupts. Uh, Mr. Uh, Venerable Witness, uh, please wait. And the international Equal Lawyer for Civil Parties, you have the floor. Merci, Monsieur yes, one observation. Thank you, Président. Une remarque très très rapide. Je ne voulais pas interrompre mon confrère, mais il me semblait clair de la déposition du Vénérable Mfun qu'il y avait juste une cérémonie de mariage à laquelle il avait assisté et non plusieurs, comme le laissait entendre la question. Je voulais simplement que ce soit clair. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Can you tell us what exactly? happened or what did you do during this wedding ceremony uh, during which you uh, preached, gave, gave prayers? I preach uh, the Buddhist uh, discipline and to uh, give the blessing to the newly married couples. And I did that uh, based on the instruction of the village chief, and that happened only one time. Thank you. Um, I would like to take you back now to the interview that you had um, with DC Chem in 2005, January 2005. Do you remember um, the foreign interviewer who took your statement? It's been a long time. I cannot recall it. If I, if I mention the name Ian Harris, would that ring a bell to you? Ian Harris, est-ce que ce nom vous dit quelque chose? I only recall that there was an uh, American woman who uh, came to interview me. Um, thank you, Mr. Witness. It seems um, that your interview, uh, the interview that you gave to DC Chem in January 2005, uh, was used by this gentleman, uh, Ian Harris, in his book that he wrote um, about a subject called Buddhism uh, under Pol Pot. Um, Mr. President, I would like to refer to um, page 272 of the book of Ian Harris called Buddhism under Pol Pot. That's ERN 0070413. Um, uh, Mr. Witness, because it's not entirely clear um, how um, Mr. Harris came to all his conclusions, I would like to read a few passages from his book and ask you whether you know anything about it or whether you talk to other uh, monks who, who know something about this. Um, I would like to start um, Mr. Witness, with a passage on page 149, uh, it is documented, by the way, I'm sorry, I forget to say that E3 slash 2818, there's only an English ERN, 0070412, um, and I would like to read that, uh, and then I would like to ask your comment, if possible. While this attitude toward the death might be characterized as the Khmer Rouge theoretical position, in reality their attitude was some, somewhat more ambivalent. For example, elaborate funeral rites were held for Siunuk's mother, Queen Kozamak, at the royal palace in September 1975. Although most definitely not a public occasion, the ceremony was presided over by a number of monks 
who had come over to the Khmer Rouge in the early 1970s and was attended by Sihanouk, Kyu Sampan and Son Sen. Nguyen Chia's mother also received a traditional Buddhist, Buddhist funeral at Wat Khor, Batambang, around the same time. And there is some evidence that the possibility of a ritualized death could still be obtained by lower levels of society. My, my question to you, um, Reverend, would be, do you know anything about this or do you have anybody who uh, told you about the funerals of Sihanouk's mother and uh, mother? No, I did not know anything about them. I only uh, know that she passed away in China. And you also know nothing about uh, the mother of Nguyen Chia and her funeral in Batambang. That is correct. I uh, didn't know anything about that. Um, do you remember in the days between 1975 and 1979 um, anything about um, Article uh, 20 of the Constitution, uh, the, the Constitution of DK, which is about um, worship and religion? Does Article 20 of the Constitution mean anything to you? Ma question serait, est-ce que l'article 20 du Campuchia démocratique vous dit quelque chose de la constitution du Campuchia démocratique No, I was not aware of that. Réponse, non, je ne sais pas. Mr. President, if you allow me, I would like to read article 20, maybe that refreshes um, the memory of the witness. It is E3 slash 259. Um, ERN English 00184838. Um, I do not have the, the Khmer ERN right now, but um, Article 12, 20, uh, Mr. Witness reads as follows. Um, every citizen of Kampuchea. President Council uh, Coupe, please wait, and the International Co Prosecutor, do you have the floor? Merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes, Il est d'usage devant cette cour de citer uh, et faire référence court, à des documents qui ont été placés sur l'interface. Je ne suis pas sûr que celui-là en fasse partie, à moins que mon confrère ne me contredise et je ne l'ai pas trouvé sur la liste de la défense. Uh, that's correct, Mr. President. The question came up this morning, but it is a very widely debated uh, document in, in the first segment of the trial. So I trust uh, the prosecution to be very familiar with this uh, provision. So if you allow me, um, I would like to read it to the witness. Uh, Mr. Witness, the article, the provision reads as follows. Every citizen of Kampuchea has the right to worship according to any religion and the right not to worship according to any religion. Reactionary religions which are detrimental to democratic Kampuchea and Kampuchean people are absolutely forbidden. Now when I read this um, provision in the DK Constitution of 1976, does that ring any bell to you? No, I'm afraid not. I did not uh, see it uh, in the Constitution, non. but uh, I heard the people talking about it. Do you remember people, commune chiefs, or any other Khmer Rouge cadres uh, speaking about the freedom of religion, or you never heard this concept? discussed before. Dont vous n'avez jamais entendu parler et que dont personne autour de vous n'a parlé. 
During the uh, purple Mais regime, nobody spoke God, about it. We all just uh, kept uh, silent and kept tout it to ourselves. Thank you. Um, I will move on to another topic. And that's also a topic which is discussed in this book um, from Ian Harris. Livre, um, livre, and he is discussing the fact that Il in the civil war between 1970 and 1975, um, many pagodas bon were destroyed, um, maybe even up to two-thirds of all pagodas, and that many pagodas were also destroyed because of American bombing. What, what can you tell us about the pagodas américaines. being destroyed in que the civil war or destroyed because of U.S. bombings? ou alors des pagodes qui ont été détruites à cause des bombardements. During the réponse uh, republic uh, the Khmer Republic regime of Lonnol sous le régime de Lonnol république they were uh, fighting and then there were American aerial bombardments et il y avait également des bombardements aériens par les américains. But is it correct that many pagodas were destroyed by the bombs from the American planes? Yes, uh, some pagodas were hit by the aerial bombardment uh, in particular in uh, remote uh, locations. Dans des but, but you don't know numbers. Mais vous Was it pas correct that two-thirds of pagodas, of the pagodas de were destroyed in the civil war, or does that figure mean nothing to you? I do not have that knowledge. Je n'ai pas connaissance de ces chiffres. Je n'ai pas cette information. I, I apologize, Mr. Mr. West. Do you know anything about the burning of Buddhist books or manuscripts during the decay? Avez-vous des informations sur le fait que des livres bouddhistes ont été brûlés pendant le Kampuchea démocratique? During the uh, decay regime. Réponse. Pendant le régime du Kampuchea démocratique. Everything was uh, destroyed. The uh, Buddhist manuscripts, for example, that were made from uh, palm tree leaves. They torn them, they tore them apart, and used them as heads. And I personally witnessed it uh, being destroyed and uh, used it. Even the Buddhist painting was torn away and destroyed. Or some were used to to be used as heads. Certains étaient utilisés comme couvre-chef. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Some other questions relating Merci, to um, what happened in Trump Cock District. Um, you said something about working hours. Do you, you, if I recall your testimony correctly, you said that working hours were from the morning until uh, 6 p.m. Is that correct? I didn't know the details. Je ne connaissais pas les détails. I only uh, saw it uh, at night time, but, but not during the daytime. Je n'ai pas vu cela pendant la journée. Let me let me rephrase my question. When you were working building uh, dams and dikes, were you working uh, normally until six o'clock in the night? Yes, that is correct. C'est exact. Uh, and was that the average working hours? Were, it, were these the average working hours? Did you sometimes also incidentally work in the evening or never? De temps en temps, travailler la nuit ou jamais la nuit.
During the three year, eight month, and twenty day period, we uh, never stopped before the set time, and sometimes we had to even work uh, longer than the set time. And that's uh, what I experienced during the, the regime. But was that only sometimes? For instance, during the harvest, or was that um, more than incidental? Would you be able to remember? Uh, please repeat your question. Uh, I cannot uh, get uh, your question. Um, working in the dark uh, at night, was that only sometimes or more frequently? It was uh, rather frequent. For example, during the rainy season, we had to pull the uh, right seedlings. Actually, we start for dinner, and after that, we had to go and work again. But that was only during particular periods in the year. Is, is that correct? Pendant certaines périodes de l'année, est-ce que cela est correct? Yes, it was during the uh, rainy season. Oui, pendant la saison des pluies. And uh, during the dry season, we had to deal with the digging canal or building dams. Um, one last question, one last subject, Mr. Witness, is the, the food situation. Would you be able to tell if the food... President interrupts. Uh, Council Coupe, uh, please wait. There is uh, no sound uh, through the French channel. And court officer, could you check with the AV unit? Est-ce qu'on entend la cabine française? Allô, 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 allô. President, uh, Council, uh, please, uh, you have the floor, and please repeat your last question. Um, my last question, uh, Mr. President, Mr. Witness, was about the food situation. Um, would you be able to tell if... Um, President, uh, please wait. Or, uh, court officer, could you check uh, Judge Lovange's uh, headset? Maybe it runs out of battery. President, Council Coupe, please uh, proceed. I will repeat my question again. Mr. Witness, you told, uh, you told us earlier about the food situation um, in DK, the time you were there. Do you, would you be able to tell if there was an improvement in the food situation, in, in the food that was provided to you and others? Was the situation uh, better in 1976, 1977, uh, better than in 1975, for instance? Par exemple. Yes, uh, for my uh, village, people were divided into village, three groups. Les gens étaient répartis en trois One groupes. was the, uh, the regular force. Il y avait les forces régulières. The second group was the ordinary force. Lieu, and the third group was the elderly. Et troisièmement, il y avait les personnes and, uh, âgées. And from 1975 to 1976, the food was scarce. Il y avait peu à manger. And only before the uh, liberation in 1979, the rice Cooked rice was uh, rather uh, provided in, in, in terms of replacing uh, gruel. And we were told that due to the improvement of the uh, livelihood and living conditions, then the cook vie, was instructed to provide us uh, sometimes with the cooked rice. And that happened to the later regime of uh, the Khmer Rouge, 78, uh, 79, and yes, early 70, 78 and 79. 79. 
Did I understand you correctly? Then, if I Question. paraphrase that the food situation Vous dites donc, better, si j'ai bien compris, que la situation 78, alimentaire s'est améliorée en 78 et 79 par rapport aux deux premières années du régime. Yes, uh, it became better. Oui, les choses se sont améliorées. But I talked about the cooked rice. However, as for the, the soup, it, it remains the same. Contre, just a watery soup with uh, some local pareil. vegetable. C'était un, une soupe assez liquide contenant uh, thank you, quelques Mr. President. légumes. <laughs> Maître Coppe, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai plus de questions à poser. President, thank you. Le président, and the floor is now merci. Given to à présent, la parole defense. est donnée à la défense de Kyo Sampan. Council Consumon, thank you, Mr. President, Mr. and good morning, Consumon. Your Honours. Merci, good president. morning, everyone in and around the courtroom. Bon and Good morning, uh, good afternoon, Reverends. My bon name is Kong Sam On, uh, Defence Counsel for Akil Sam Porn, and I have some questions Kyo for you. Questions vous poser. This morning, I listened to your testimony, and uh, you made a statement about a meeting matin, held at Amroka Pagoda. Qui avait eu lieu à la pagode in that meeting, there was uh, different Vous interpretations of it. Uh, one was uh, raised by the prosecution based on a, a statement of another uh, witness. And what you actually stated uh, as you attended that meeting personally. My question to you is the following. For the meeting held at the Angroka Pagoda on the issue of living at the manhood, uh, can you provide a little bit uh, for uh, for the details? Les moines qui allaient se défroquer, pourriez-vous préciser? Answer. As for uh, the meeting Réponse. for the monks to leave uh, manhood at the Angroka Pagoda. I didn't stay till the end of the uh, meeting session because I, I came rather late from Phnom Penh to attend en that effet, meeting. J'étais arrivé assez tard de Phnom Penh pour uh, participer à la réunion. Did you uh, attend the, the meeting uh, for one time only, as you stated? Fois, comme vous dit? And as you just said. There actually was another meeting also before your arrival at the Angroka Pagoda. Am I correct in saying that? Angroka, pas? Answer. I only Réponse. can talk about uh, the time that I arrived. I did not know about. Uh, I did not, not, not know whether there was any previous uh, meeting si before my avant. arrival. Because other monks who arrived there attended the meeting with me, and we were instructed to about the plan to leave the monkhood. Question: Were you aware of previous meetings before your arrival, or were you told there were other meetings before your arrival? Lieu avant votre arrivée, vous a-t-on parlé de telle réunion? Answer: Réponse: I only heard uh, from others. J'ai simplement entendu d'autres en parler. Question. Question. Regarding the meeting that you attended, can you uh, tell the court uh, what time it was held, or what date, if you can recall it? À quelle date a eu lieu cette réunion? And uh, I Réponse. cannot recall it. I did not pas. pay attention to that at the time. Je n'y ai pas fait attention à l'époque. I didn't know the exact date of the meeting. Je ne sais pas à quelle because date we did not pay such attention to uh, such a meeting. Nous n'accordions pas d'attention particulière à ce type de réunion. Question. Question. Can you recall how many people attended that meeting? Combien de personnes étaient présentes? Answer. 
through the uh, announcement, there were chiefs of uh, villages and chiefs of uh, groups. Les chefs de village et de groupes. C'est ce qui avait été annoncé. Question. Question. How many participants attended Combien that meeting? I mean, uh, the laymen, lay women, and the monks. Je parle ici à la fois des moines et des laïcs. As for the meeting involving the, the living at the monkhood for the monks, there were uh, not many monks, never not many attendants. But for the uh, common meeting, there were also many other laymen and women attended the meeting. La réunion sur le fait de quitter l'habit, mais pour les réunions ordinaires, il y avait beaucoup de laïcs, hommes et femmes. Question. Can you recall who actually presided over that meeting? Qui a présidé cette réunion? I talked about the meeting that you were present. Je parle ici de la réunion à laquelle vous étiez présent. Answer. Réponse. There were members of a commune Il y avait des membres and village des and groups who attended groupes. that meeting. Questioned. Question. Were there discussions uh, amongst the the one who presided over the meeting and the attendants, for example, the monks or the uh, villagers who lived within the vicinity of the pagoda? Answer: No. There was no such uh, conversation because we only listened and listened to the instructions of Anka. Nobody dared to raise any question. Person n'a osé poser de questions. Question. Can you Elaborate a little bit further on the content of the meeting that you participated. Préciser l'objet de cette réunion. Was it a meeting for the sake of uh, instructing the monks to leave the monkhood? De donner l'ordre aux moines As I understand de through your statements, si j'ai bien compris, you use different dit, words or different terms. Il semble que you vous ayez stated about leaving the monkhood. However, the prosecution is uh, talking about defrocking. Uh, can you de clarify the use of uh, these terms? L'emploi de ces termes. Whether it was to leave a monkhood or whether uh, the monks were defrocked. Ou bien s'agissait-il de se défroquer? Answer. Réponse. Through my understanding, the, the, the two words are the same. It means me the end result means the man would leave the man. Le est le même. Est que le moine cesse so there is no uh, real discrepancy uh, in this uh, matter. Pas de because in the end, we all become enfin, laymen. Nous sommes tous devenus des laïcs. Question. Thank you. Question. In relation to the plan to defrock monks or to, to allow monks to leave monkhood. Du projet selon lequel les moines allaient être défroqués ou bien selon was it, lequel ils allaient quitter le monastique. Was the schedule set uh, clearly when the monks on a needed to leave monkhood or needed to be defrocked? Les moines devaient le faire. Or did the uh, monks at Angroka Pagoda have the rights to leave Mangut at any time uh, they wanted? Monastique au moment de leur choix? Answer. Réponse. From my recollection, mes souvenirs, and uh, we were advised and instructed. We were asked to 
be in a manhood for a short period of time, and uh, after that we needed to leave a manhood to work as others. Uh, otherwise, uh, we would have no food to eat because as a monk we could only had uh, morning meal. En effet, And at the time, monde, it was a revolutionary matin, time. Là, no one had time. And they had to work all together. Some Tout were working in the agriculture ensemble. and some culture field and some other were working in an industrial field. Dans et dans Council, thank you. You, did you witness yourself in relation to the monks uh, who had been deposed uh, before you? Des moines défroqués? And so I did not know about uh, that because uh, I had been in the, the city before I was uh, there at Angroka Pagoda, so I did not know about uh, whether I did not know whether monks had been deprocked before I arrived there. Question: I want to know about the time when you were at Angroka Pagoda at that time. Did you ever see uh, monks who had already been deprocked? vu des moines déjà défroqués Answer. And uh, I could see that they became lay men already. They left. They had already left Manghut when I arrived there. Anka did not allow the, the, those people to become uh, monks. Ne les laissez pas rester moines. Question. Question. Did you ever attend uh, the uh, ceremony that allowed monks to leave Mangkut? Answer. I uh, never tante? attended Réponse. such a ceremony. Non, I uh, uh, left Mangkut at the same time as my teacher did. En même temps que mon précepteur. Question for you yourself. Uh, when did you leave uh, your monkhood? Personnellement, à quel moment avez-vous quitté l'état monastique? Answer: I left uh, monkhood in 1976. En Question: Did you remember the month? Uh, when Question. was it? What month was it? Quel mois? Answer: Réponse. I could not recall it. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I uh, forgot it. J'oublie. Que question. question. I would like to ask uh, you about the time when you were a monk at Angroka Pagoda. Upon your arrival, At Angroka, you said uh, you spent about two months traveling to Angroka. In June 1975, you arrived at Angroka. I would like to know from you about uh, the livelihood of you and other monks while they were in Angroka Pagoda between June 1975 and the late 1975. So what was the living condition or livelihood like? Quelles étaient les conditions de vie? President, please wait, uh, Reverend. Uh, you wait for le the président. red light on the microphone. Venerable, chat. veuillez attendre que le micro soit allumé. Answer. At that time, the living condition of a monk uh, was becoming uh, worse because uh, villagers were evacuated uh, afar, so les we needed to support by ourselves. Nous devions subvenir à notre propre besoin. Question. I would like to make a clarification. Question. Were there any lay people 
y avait-il des laïcs qui vous faisaient offrande de nourriture durant votre séjour à la pagode d'Angroka Answer. Réponse. In 1975, we could get en some offerings from concerning the people who Question. came to make the offerings to the monks. Ces gens Did qui the venaient number faire des offrandes uh, au moins 1975, sont ils devenus moins nombreux fin 1975 Ou ils n'ont pas offert de nourriture de vous faire offrande de nourriture Answer. à compter de 1975 Quand les monks uh, left the uh, les gens ne sont pas venus pour faire des offrandes ne leur ont pas fait d'offrande. Uh, uh, Les villageois étaient dans la situation. Les situation, uh, we left our monkhood and, pris connaissance and de la situation, then ils ont quitté l'état monastique. We never received any Après offerings. cela, nous n'avons plus jamais reçu d'offrande. Question. I would like to know about you yourself when you left uh, your monk vous-même quand vous avez quitté l'état monastique did you decide by yourself to leave the monkhood or was there any uh, ceremony to force you to leave the monkhood bien une cérémonie a-t-elle été organisée pour vous contraindre Answer. à le faire as for leaving monkhood Uh, it Réponse. was considered uh, like a force because uh, ai été we, we were given a set of clothing and uh, we got nothing vêtements. and uh, we were told uh, the revolution nous had nothing for us. Et l'on nous a confirmé que so, la uh, could rien consider this is, pour nous this was a force. J'ai donc été contraint. Question. Question. Uh, this morning, at about 10 a.m., you said that you uh, could not uh, stay in Manghood uh, and because There were no offerings uh, made to you, and uh, monks uh, were leaving monkhood one after another. So you mean uh, there were no ones giving you arms and offerings, and because of this uh, you decided uh, to leave monkhood, or was it because of other reasons that uh, made you leave uh, monkhood? Answer. Let me uh, clarify. Let me tell you this way. At that time, we had to notice by ourselves. Uh, they had a high uh, policy or high uh, strategy. À l'époque, uh, and uh, it's not. Uh, It did not make us uh, feel comfort comfortable to stay in Mankhud because when the, they, they said that uh, when uh, making a revolution, uh, uh, we had to work all together. We had to do labor, all of us. So th this was the uh, means uh, to make us leave our Mankhud. They repeatedly mentioned uh, this point. So how could uh, we stay in uh, our manhood? We needed to make the decision uh, like other Nous people did. Uh, we could not uh, stay in our manhood. Revolution gave us no free time. We had to do our labors all across the country. No one uh, could sleep uh, freely. So this was the instruction from Anka. 
pour l'ensemble du pays. President, it is now convenient time for break. Uh, the court will uh, take break from now until 3 o'clock. Uh, court officer, please uh, facilitate the proper room for uh, Venerable Aim Phuong during his uh, time, during his break time, and uh, take him back before 3 p.m. The court is now adjourned.